Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Now, we are going to talk about a stressful situation I was in with a guy. And before we start that, we're going to talk about this. But before I talk about that, I want to just say if I seem like I'm irritated, it's about the whole story I'm about to tell you. And things aren't going well tonight. There's problems right now. Anywho, so basically this came with two pieces as you see there's a wire and there's not usually a wire attached to it because it has this on it this is actually a charger for it and it hooks into you know something to charge it anyway so these are the two pieces that i came with this easily can just pop off by the things on the side so basically you're just gonna want to pop it off that's pretty much it and it comes right off and it has these little things in it. I don't know if I'm probably like blocking it. Those little things. And on the back of this, it has little things. But yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. It really takes like two hours to charge. And this is how I put it on. I really just grab that piece and then I just stick it through the hole. And then I just pull on it, put that through, then I put that through, and then it's on. So, yeah, but anyway, so I want to talk about the situation. So this guy is Shannon Blake, or Shannon Blair. Shannon Blair is his name on YouTube. Um, anyway, it's a guy I know, actually lots of people got confused with this before because Shannon is normally a girl's name but really sometimes parents name their boys girls names sometimes parents name their girls boys names so it really doesn't matter what way it goes but anyway um me and him started dating I'm 20 years old he is 29 and that's really a problem usually for me. I usually only date up to 23 year olds. So that was kind of weird. He came and found me on Live Me and asked me out. You wouldn't think that why would someone get with someone that old unless they're looking for a sugar day? It was complete opposite for me. He was no sugar day. So he knew I had a job and he liked that. So, I had a job, and things were great in the beginning, but then it started to change. He started changing the kind of person he was, and he said he was really cheap, and he really wasn't. He had me get the, the most expensive pack of Minecraft for his son, and he calls himself cheap. But anyway, so... Really, he was always complaining he wanted this computer and stuff, and he was saving up money to put on there because he does not work. He gets paid money like close to seven hundred dollars or a little bit over seven hundred every month. Obviously, that's not enough, but he kept and he did not. I told him he should have spent it on a car instead of a really expensive gaming computer but he spent it on a really expensive gaming computer like okay it's his money do what you want he doesn't have to play for pay for a place to live at because he lives with his mom but he has a kid and all so you know but anyway i i'm like okay because I want him to spend it on really a car because he said that he had a disability, meaning he couldn't work. I thought it was like a really severe disability. Because if you can't work, it's a really severe disability. And so, anyway, he started with that and I told him, oh, but at least you should still, you seem able enough to do uber and he's like oh i can't do uber i'm like do you have your license he's like yeah 
I'm like, then do Uber. He's like, I don't have a car. I'm like, that's why you could spend the money to do Uber. He's like, no. He's like, I gotta be home by 3 o'clock to get him off the bus. He's like, and I might have to, it, I might have a really long drive. Uber, you choose your own hours. So that was just an excuse. And I told him, okay, well, if we we're living together, I would go to work an hour early. And then that means I get off an hour earlier. I'm like, so I'd be home before he gets off the bus. I'm like, and I could get him. And he's like, no, no. He's like, I can't do that. He's like, no, it has to be me. And I'm like, okay. It just seems like he's making excuses. And then on top of that, didn't seem like he would even bother to clean or cook while I'm at work. So, um, so I'm thinking in my head, what are you actually doing? the whole day when I'm working my butt off. So I'd have to clean and cook and take care of the kids. I just didn't see how that was effort on both of our parts. So anyway, I found out that he was cheating on me. Um, I left the room for a few seconds, came back, heard him saying baby i love you baby and well first he was saying hey babe and i didn't answer he's like are you back yet and i didn't answer i seen what he was doing and then the next thing i know like less than a minute later i hear him saying i love you baby he's a great view baby he's like you're the most you're the best girlfriend ever and he started calling her baby and stuff i'm like what babe and he didn't say anything and he's still talking to someone else so i'm like maybe he didn't hear me so i'm like babe and he still was answering so then i go on message and i'm like who are you talking to then all of a sudden i hear oh s-h-i-t i'm not gonna swear on this channel and he goes to and then he sends me a text and he's like oh i'm in the bathroom he was gone for 30 minutes like, who goes to the bathroom for 30 minutes? And he came back and he's like, I wasn't talking to no girl. And I'm like, yes, you were. And who goes to the bathroom for 30 minutes? And he's like, I wasn't doing anything. I was just going to the bathroom. And so when he knew, then he actually realized that I had all the facts. I knew everything. So he says, yeah, I was talking to a girl. Didn't realize I was calling her baby. But why would you be talking to a girl if I'm your girlfriend? And he wouldn't give me her name. Nothing. So I really considered it at that point cheating. He was definitely cheating. And things got worse from that point. He was always being mean to me. And it's just like um, that thing that happened. I just couldn't let it go. And so I dumped. I broke up with him. But I told him we'd be on a break. He was really upset about it crying and stuff and I didn't understand that because obviously he's talking to that girl I don't know if they end up breaking up or what but anyway so I put on a break I was going to take him back until he really seemed insecure in a way he went ahead and I was talking to my mom about something and he overheard and he got mad. We were talking about my ex-boyfriend and he got mad and he's like, you know, I used to do that too. We were talking about a job that my ex used to have and he's like, I used to do that too. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then I, I'm like, okay, so we're just talking about things. So I kept going with my ex. And he screamed bloody murder and said, we're not talking about him. We're not talking about you. We're talking about me. It's all me. And that was very weird for him. Not weird, but crazy in a way. He acted crazy. And I told him, I'm like, well, we were talking about my ex. And he's like, no, we were talking about me. I'm like, no, you were. I was talking about my ex. He's like, exactly. So it's all about me. And he just seemed insecure. And I just couldn't handle the far of insecure he's at. I'm not even that far insecure. And it just seemed, I could not handle it. 
and so I basically gave up on it. And he, I told him I couldn't be with him. We got into a big argument, and he blocked me on Facebook, and I blocked his phone number. But, well, in the end, um, he started saying things about me, and last night, actually, I was crying. I was really upset. So my friend thought I wanted to be back with my ex. I do, but he had the wrong ex. He thought I wanted to be back with Shannon. I wanted to be back with someone else. So he contacted Shannon and everything. Couldn't get Shannon on a call with us. And then I finally was able to tell him I don't like Shannon. So I told him I'm going to put Shannon in a group chat. He puts him in a group chat, and I message Shannon, and I I mention his name in it, and I say, I don't want to be with you anymore. I don't want us together ever again. I don't want to talk to you, and I left. I did it in a nice way, and as nice as I could be. I even said sorry that I didn't like him, and he... And then I left, and my friend's like, you left? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, he's probably going to yell at me or something. So, anyway, next thing I know, I'm in call with this guy. And my I'm like, what the heck is he doing here? And my friend's like, you guys need to pair things up. I'm like, okay, look. We don't need to. I don't want to. I'm like, here's the deal. I'm like, Shannon, I'm sorry. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to date you. And... And uh, Shan just looked at me. I'm like, I'm sorry. It's how it is. I'm like, you were always mad about me about nothing. I'm like, you cheated on me. Don't say you didn't because I know you did. I'm like, and number, the next one is that I just can't handle you. I'm like, you cannot tolerate anything. I'm like, I'm sorry I was talking about my ex. But you have to be insecure if you go ahead and just scream at me. I'm like, I can't handle you controlling me anymore. I'm like, my family doesn't like you. I'm like, and I don't like you anymore. I'm like, you changed the kind of person you were. I'm like, and you're making fun of my friends all the time and my family. And before you did say that the people that I consider close to me has family, that they're not blood related, so they're not family. So then I told him, so you technically wouldn't be family. And then he started picking this big fight with me, saying I bullied his son when I never said anything mean to that little boy. And I wouldn't do that because that's wrong. And then it went to, he was saying that I don't care, that he doesn't care about me, that he doesn't want to be with me, that I'm really ugly and I'm nobody. And I told him, I'm like, great, we both agree. I don't want to be with you. You don't want to be with me. Good, leave. Like, he didn't even have to say that as ugly and nobody. When the fact is, I, all I said is I don't want to be with him. I never called him ugly. I never called him a nobody. And I'm like, then leave. There's an end button. I just didn't want to listen to it anymore. And he kept picking a fight with me. I'm like, look, you don't like me. Great. Leave. I'm like, I'm not listening. He's like, fine, I will leave. He's like, you lazy piece of S-H-I-T. And really, I never said that about him either, so... And then I told him, I'm like, you know what? I'm like, I'm not a lazy pizza. You know what? I'm like, you are. Why don't you get a job? Like, he doesn't even have a job and he's yelling at someone who does have a job. So then he starts talking trash about me. And so I told my friend, I'm like, tell him he needs to get a job. Get off his butt and work. So he told the guy, he's like, she knows why I, why I don't work. I can't. I have a learning disability. Okay, that really puts things into perspective. You, it comes to you can't work if you have a very severe disability. He only has a small learning disability. I have a learning disability. He, and mine is even worse than his. And he goes ahead and says he can't work. Um, excuse me, I can work. And now you're saying you can't? Yeah, that's a lie. So he just doesn't want to get off his butt and work. Um, 
But really, it just seemed so stupid to me and kept complaining, telling he told my friend to tell me to leave him alone. I wasn't even talking to him. And so I, t I, uh, I told my friend, I'm like, I don't want to hear anymore. I'm like, he needs to leave me alone. I'm not even talking to him. I'm like, so tell him to go away. And then it went to the whole factor of him just making fun of me and everything. I wasn't about to deal with it anymore. And so I told my friend, block him. Because I didn't want my friend to have to deal with it. I didn't want to have to listen to it anymore. I knew it was too much stress on my friend and me. So he told my ex that. And my ex is like, she can't control you. All she is is a controlling piece of SHIT. So then we switch off. And my friend blocks him. Because... My friend got mad that he was being mean to me and saying all this garbage about me. So, yeah. But, I don't know. He's just... He's not a good person. Um, let's put it this way. We would have never worked anyway. Um, I could not put my full heart in with him because I was still in love with someone else. And he, he knew that, but I was only putting in all the effort between us. And on top of that, he never really paid attention to me. He never really did the kind of things that I would like him to do. It just seemed like our relationship would be where everyone is always sitting around the TV. I'm always cooking, cleaning, doing work, paying all the bills, and being yelled at all the time. And I just wouldn't be happy. And I wanted to do pranks against each other and he said that he was totally against that if I ever played a prank on him he would dump me which really shows he's not someone who can have fun and I want that I want someone who can have fun and so my ex that I want back it's an ex in the south he knows how to have fun he's fun he's crazy he's great to be around and he doesn't he's not mean to you and yell at you and so, i rather that he would probably never hook his kids to TV, which is great. So, we would always have a blast. He'd probably find pranks hilarious, and we would keep doing them. Obviously, if it upset him too much, then we'd probably stop. He'd probably start the prank war first. But, he's more cheerful, so I could have so much more fun with him. And he's more the guy that I like, and Shannon's not. So, I was willing to look past all the qualities that Shannon had. One, Shannon didn't have a job. Two, Shannon wasn't even trying to get a job. Three, Shannon um, was extremely tall, didn't have that much muscle. He was as thin as a toothpick. He wore baggy clothes. And there's so many qualities of Shannon that I just didn't like. And Shannon had really bad teeth. He was missing a lot of teeth, but really you would think the teeth that he still has, he would brush. But no, nope, didn't do that ever. And he makes sure his kid brushes his teeth. Like, you should brush your teeth. Um, But then uh, with the guy that I do like, he's tall. He is, he's skinny. But he's a little, but he's, he's not as skinny as a toothpick. I don't like a guy really fat and I don't like them really thin. I like them in between. So he was in between and the weight that he had on him was muscle. And he was country. And he likes animals. Shannon hates animals. And this guy loved animals. So you really can see there's two opposites between the two. And Shannon didn't ever seem like he was willing to protect me over anything. Where the woman from the south would protect me over anything. And i rather that guy, obviously. And so he, it just wasn't a good fit for us. And I wasn't happy. I didn't want it. So... I gave up. The only thing that those two had in common was the fact of they both, they both vaped. So my ex in the South used to smoke. There's a girl that he's actually with now. And that girl gives him so much stress so he smokes. 
to get rid of it. I stopped him from smoking and he vapes so he doesn't have to smoke. But he doesn't vape as much as Shannon does. And, you know, i just rather my ex from the South. Um, but I don't know. Shannon just really wasn't the guy for me. I'm not saying he will never have a girl. He could. I'm not saying he won't. He's not really my type, and I knew that. I just really had to just let him go. And if you if he sees this video, Shan, if you see this video, fine. And you want to talk bad about me on one of your videos, you can go for it. I'm not saying anything bad about you. Not trying to. I'm just saying the way that I feel and how things should have been different. But I can just see you making a video talking bad about me. But whatever. In the end, you know, we don't want to be with each other. I don't know if you are just lying and you do want to be with me. But in the end, we don't want to be with each other. And we never have to hear from each other ever again. You can unsubscribe from me. I doubt you're even subscribed to me. I got unsubscribed from you because I'm not going to be subscribed to someone who is mean to me and treat me bad. But it's over in the end. I don't care anymore. I just wanted to get this off my chest. But I'm sorry that I couldn't stay with you. I was not about to work so hard and get everything done when you weren't even trying and... It's like you want to get famous on YouTube and Twitch. You got to put effort into that. And you were never streaming on Twitch. And then with YouTube, you weren't ever making videos. I don't even think you ever edited a, a video before. And I just, no, I didn't want it anymore. I wasn't happy. And if you're not happy, you can't put yourself in that situation. You want to be happy in life. So and then, do you know what? It wasn't anyone's fault. You're probably going to say it's my fault, but whatever. It wasn't anyone's fault. And then, we just realized that we're not meant to be. Okay? So, you and me, the heart that we had is broken. And I will, at some day, my heart will connect with someone else and I'll be happy. Hopefully the same happens to you. But, you know, it's really where you want to be. And I'm sorry, I'm not happy with you. And I'd rather be single at this time. Because, really, you can't be with someone if you don't love yourself. I have insecurities about me. I don't love myself. I hate the way I look. I hate the kind of person I am. I don't love myself. And I'm always trying to help other people. So, the fact is... I need to respect myself. And with me being single, I can learn to respect myself. And then maybe I can be with the true person that I love. And with you, I don't know if you have insecurities about that. But I know you do have insecurities. So maybe you do need to respect yourself too. And then you'll find someone maybe. I don't know. But really, I just don't want us anymore. And I'm... I think that's for the best for both of us. So, yeah. And tip. Um, you said you did want to become famous on YouTube. I suggest if you do want to do that, post videos that people want to see and actually try. Don't even do YouTube just for the fame. Because really, in the end, if you do for just the fame... You're not going to have that many subscribers and you're never going to get famous. If you're doing it just for the fame and the money, that's wrong. I'm only doing YouTube because I like it. And if I end up getting famous in the end, cool. I don't know if that will ever happen, but if it does, fine. And it will help me in the end. But in reality, I'm just doing it to have fun. This is something I like to do. I like to make videos. My least favorite part is the editing. But you know what? Sometimes you do what you gotta do. What the next thing I'm spending money on for YouTube though. Is guys it's gonna be um, a camera. And everything I need with that camera. And a new computer. So 
Um, if I stop posting for a while, I'm not going to get that for a while, but when I get it and I stop posting, I need you all to bear with me because obviously I'm not posting because I'm taking care of something. Uh, try to figure out how to do it because one, I need to get a new camera, stuff for the camera, and I need to get a new computer. I have a laptop, but my laptop is really old and won't do it so I would get probably a good editing laptop and then I would get a camera and so yeah and with getting a new laptop maybe I'll put some games on it and you all can watch me play games on there I don't know but in the end that'll help me out with YouTube I was gonna wait to get that until I move but I think I will get before I move. That way I have it. And I can start making videos that you guys like. And you know if you guys like me in the end. Then maybe I'll become famous. And I can have that as a job. But for now I have my job. Unless I either one quit or get fired. I'm not sure if that will ever happen. But. You know, what happens, happens in this world. But anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to talk to you all quick. But I will talk to you all next time. Yay, I'm really tired. But I am home today. Um, So I'm actually going to be cleaning. And I will do a cleaning video with you all. I actually really love those kind of videos. They're so fun to watch. So we're going to clean. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. Watching me clean. Yay. So yeah. Let's get that done. And yeah. I will see you all in a little bit. Bye.